Today we're exploring Chandra Torch of Defiance and Oathbreaker and seeing what kind of signature spell might pair best with her. For two red red she starts at four loyalty. Plus one. Exile the top card of your library. You may cast that card. If you don't, Chandra Torch of Defiance deals two damage to each opponent. Plus one. Add a red red. Minus three. Chandra Torch of Defiance deals four damage to target creature. Minus seven. You get an emblem with, whenever you cast a spell, this emblem deals 5 damage to any target. At first, I was surprised to find out that this is the 12th most popular Oathbreaker in the format. She offers card advantage, mana ramp, targeted removal, and a way to finish off all your opponents. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. And I'm always interested in 4 ability planeswalkers, we don't have many of those. Now let's talk signature spells. Now nothing screams synergy to me here with this Chandra, because she's just kind of generically good. A lot of the best options are damage based spells, even better if they're damage based spells that deal damage to all opponents. Stuff like Price of Progress, which deals damage to each player equal to twice the number of non-basic lands that player controls. That does include us, but if we run just mountains, no problem. The downside of this one is that unlike Commander, a quite a few decks are monocolored decks and are much more likely to run a lot more basics. It's still good though, in fact it's the number one most popular choice with this Chandra at 18% of decks using this as signature spell. Flame Rift is the next most popular choice at 12%, it deals 4 damage to each player. You're not avoiding the damage with this one, but they're not avoiding it either by running all basics. I don't know, I like Price of Progress better, but this is solid too. Coming in third with 11% is Fiery Confluence. Choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. Deals one damage to each creature, deals two damage to each opponent, or destroy target artifact. I think the ability to just deal six damage to each opponent is very, very strong. That mixed with the versatility of it makes this one my favorite. Coming in at number fourth with 8% is Jessica's Will. Choose one. If you choose a commander as you cast the spell, you may choose both. Add red for each card in target opponent's hand. Exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Yeah, this one's just generically good. Since we can only cast it if we have our Oathbreaker, we're always getting both. I don't mention this one much because it's not a synergy card, but it is one of the best options in the format. Next, we'll check out the Chandra specific spells. Chandra's Triumph says deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. It deals five damage to that permanent instead if you control a Chandra planeswalker. And Chandra's Ignition, target creature deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and each opponent. I love this one. However, it is much more of a build around than the other ones. Gotta make sure you have a good creature to target with this. Light up the stage has Spectacle of Red. Exile the top two cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may play those cards. I really like Spectacle with Chandra because her plus one deals damage to each opponent. Or at least it can if you want it to. And when you do, it makes this card cost a lot less. Last of all, we've got just a whole bunch of cards that do direct damage stuff. Lightning Bolt is Chandra's fifth most popular signature spell option. Fire Blast can be cast for no mana if you're willing to sacrifice two mountains. It deals four damage to any target. And we've got a bunch of X spells too. I think this is great with Chandra because she pluses to make red red, allowing you to cast a pretty big X spell, really. Jaya's Emulating Inferno for X red red. It deals X damage to each of up to three targets. So this is a nice way to finish off your opponents or take out the creatures if you need to. Electro Dominance for X red red deals X damage to any target. You may cast a card with converted mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. And Crackle with Power for X X X red red deals five times X damage to each of up to X targets. If you enjoy Oathbreaker content, consider subscribing and you can even hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I release a new video. I think I'm the only YouTuber doing consistent Oathbreaker content, and I'd love to see you back for the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.